from the home of HM Sports. It's the HM Lions Report alongside Matt Parker. I'm Jack Gildren for our Christmas special. I'm rocking the sweater. Matt, is he rocking the scores? What's going on today? All right, today we have boys and girls varsity basketball. We've got wrestling, swimming, and squash. You ready for this? I'm very ready for this. Me too, don't move a muscle. We're going to have a seat again. Hope you've been a good boy or girl this year. Santa's coming, and so are we. That's all coming your way right about. We're now live with Sean Kim, one of our basketball correspondents. Um, what are we showing first? Well, we have a boys basketball game against Tiger Collegiate. They dominated the whole time. Tiger Collegiate didn't stand a chance, of course, came out the game. What do you think has been the key to the team's success so well, far? I personally think it would be Mike Layton's great passing and uh, Coach Bavich's three-point shot. Yeah. The basketball team also has an incredible bench. Uh, characters such as Josh Federer have a lot of character and pride and boost to the team. Um, well, without further ado, Matt Parker, Sean Kim, take away. Starting off, we have boys, varsity basketball versus Packet Collegiate. Mike Lennon's going to start off the game. He's going to miss a layup, but show some hustle and grab the rebound for himself, knock it in for two. And here we have Mike Lennon coming right back, gets the steal, can you say cookies, comes back up the court, gets a little euro step, and ooh, nice little layup there from Mike. Very nice layup. Uh, Mike Lennon dishes out to Thomas Schneck, knocks down a three, building a big lead for HM. But here we have Patrick Tager right back, gets another 1-3 of their own, bang bang. Nice shot by Packer. Uh, Anyway, Thomas Schneck in the paint. He's the player of the game. Ooh, Elon! Gets the basket and the two points. Here we have Horace Mann starting the half off right. Costa Vyrich sinks the three. Bang, bang. Very nice shot by Costa. Very nice play. Packard Kalidri trying to make a comeback. Sinks this lead with very favorable bounce. Yes, yeah, so a very friendly row there, Matt. Yeah, it was very nice. Anyway, uh, Thomas Schneck also helps out Packer with this basket. Can we take another look at that? Let's zoom in there. Uh, you see the ball bounce off the rim. Thomas Schnepp goes up for the rebound, can't hold on. And that Tiger Collegiate player is very happy about it. Anyway, Mike Leiden, he's going to put this one in to end the game. Horace Mann will go on to win 61-48 and improve to 6-2 and two on the season. Horace Mann, varsity squash, took to the hardwood on, on the 18th to take on Bronxville. Pearson Broadwater would lead the way as usual. The number one U19 player in the nation would send his opponent to each corner of the court, eventually finishing him off with a nice with a nice win on the point. He would eventually win his match and put the Lions on their way to a nice victory. Brent Ackerman would, would also help the Lions cause, quickly finishing, finishing his opponent off with a beautiful drop shot. Hannah Seckendorf also brought her racket to play today. One of the two girls on the varsity squash team would finish this point off with a beautiful shot to the back corner. Luke Park, the number two player on the Lions squash team, would help them finish off Bronxville and end the day with a 6-1 victory. All right, next up we turn to our wrestling correspondent, Eric Pressfelder. Um, what should we know about the team? Uh, they're a great unit this year. They've done a great job winning most of their meets so far. They have uh, actually a number one wrestler for his weight class, uh, Leo Humber Enriquez. You guys should check him out. He's only a freshman. Yeah, and I believe the team has a new uh, state ranking too, right? Yes, uh, they were very happy with the ranking they received in the state this year, number seven. Did you ask the team if they're happy, or are you just assuming they're happy? No, they are very happy. They're very happy? One of their wrestlers came up to me. Oh, they really? Okay. Well, you know what? I'm very happy for them. I'm sure the school is happy too. And now we take you to Fieldston with girls varsity basketball. The tip-off will go Fieldston's way, and they'll quickly get two points on the board. But not to worry, because Horace Mann comes right back. Here we have Jayla Degout to Meredith Peskin, who will tie the score. Fieldston tries to make their comeback, but Jen Reese just comes out of nowhere. She makes this breakaway and gets a little unlucky. Back down to the other side of the court, and Fieldston has some nice passing. They make a hard drive and get themselves up. And in the second half, we see just one of Horace Mann's many successful fast breaks. But in the end, it looks like Horace Mann won't come out on top, with the final score of 36-45. to 45. 
Welcome to the pool. It's the Horseman Sea Lions taking on the Riverdale Falcons. Unfortunately, there is no C acronym for a Riverdale Falcon that I know of. Nonetheless, we move on. Here we are at the 100 meter men's breaststroke. You can see second from the far end is Ruben Sudak. Second closest to you is Alessandro Vandenberg. This one is coming down to the wire, although we have the technology to fast forward, and we will. Get the Tostitos out on the salsa too. This one's coming down to the wire. Unfortunately, Riverdale's gonna pull away. However, he's followed closely by Ruben Sudak and Alessandro. Next, we turn to our swimming correspondent at the scene, John Peter Serena. Hey, Here we have Natalie Eads coming up on the 500 freestyle. 500 freestyle. Really intense. Fastest uh, swimmer in the Ivies. Fastest swimmer in the Ivies. There you can see her all by herself, leaking her own, putting her team on my back mode. Overall, was a fine showing for the Lions, so the boys fell uh, to the Falcons, moving to 2-1 of the season. The girls won, and they're 3-0. Oh. Here at HM Lions Report, we want to thank you for watching. Uh, Jack Dolgen has been temporarily put out of order. Uh, and again, thank you for watching. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and stay classy in New York.